Hey, Coco, you ready to decorate the Christmas tree? Are you ready? Oh, you are. Okay. You ready to decorate? You want to decorate with me? Let's do this. Ready? Give me five. Give me five. Oh, give me ten. Yeah. Good job. What is up you guys? It is the first week in November and you know what that means. Time to decorate for Christmas. Coco and I are so excited. This is our first ever Decorate With Me on our YouTube channel. So we hope you watch all the way through. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Coco and I have lots of adventures planned coming up uh, that we hope you'll wanna come along with. And today we have taken all the Halloween decorations down and we have got all of the Christmas decorations out and ready and even some of our Christmas pajamas from last year. Do you guys have Christmas pajamas you wear every year? Or do you just get a new pair every year? I know a tradition in our family, we always got a gift on Christmas Eve that we got to open and they were always a cute new pair of pajamas and I love that tradition and I've kept it going till even now. Um, this year, Coco's new Christmas pajamas, well, all of our, are you excited? She's excited. All of our new Christmas pajamas are from Shop Disney. How cute. They even match our Christmas ornaments. Are you excited to wear this for the family picture? Yeah? You excited? <laughs> you excited. Even got myself a few new pair of pajamas since it was Halloween Cruella. We got some cute little Dalmatian pajamas. But we are ready with all of the Christmas gear to wear and we are gonna decorate and hopefully you see some things you like. Hopefully you get some ideas for your own decorating. If not, hopefully we just entertain you with all of our little shenanigans we get up to. But if you wanna see more, keep watching. Keep watching. So the first thing we did was put together this Christmas tree we purchased last year from Kmart. It is super simple. It comes with lights already intertwined where you can change and adjust the settings, which makes it nice if you wanna do red or white. Look at this magic, just like a pro. Ta-da! I've also added some beads and baubles, and for the first time this year, we decided to use some red ribbon. I think it looks way better in person than it does in the photo, but yeah, it's stunning, and I'm very happy with our Christmas Disney tree. I've added all of the ornaments I've been collecting since the early 90s, including my newest addition, Rapunzel. She's so adorable. So Coco and I are ready to decorate, and we started yesterday, but it just, it was too much. So got up early this morning and we got our cute little outfits on and we're gonna finish decorating. So if you wanna see more, keep watching. And keep watching. Yeah. All right, you guys, now I'm opening up all of the goodies and treasures that I bought from our shopping haul. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below and you can check out all the goodies that we bought Moving on to our entry hall area, Coco is supervising every step of the way. I am going to clean off all of the areas that I will be putting the new decor out. I think it's just best that when you are decorating, you do clean down everything and make it nice and sparkly. Um, it just gives it a little extra something. And above, I just switched out all of the Halloween photos to our Christmas photos. Each one of those photos are from a different Disney park that my husband and I have gone to like Shanghai and Hong Kong and even Disneyland. We have a trip coming up in January to Disney World. We are super excited about. We will be uh, vlogging the whole entire trip. So if you love Disney like we do, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel so you can check out all the adventures we get into in Disney World. Now these nutcrackers, I just had to buy Growing up as a kid, I used to collect nutcrackers and on Christmas Eve, I used to read my sister's The Nutcracker book every year before bed and would put all the nutcracker dolls around with them. 
and it was just a cute little tradition. So putting out the nutcrackers reminded me of, you know, our childhood and just that little special thing I would try to do for my sisters each year uh, on Christmas Eve before they went to bed. Now, this area underneath, I knew it needed something else. So I actually snuck back out and found a TK Maxx and I found this beautiful Christmas dress decor to go perfect underneath it. Next up, we're gonna decorate our fireplace. Being that it is Sydney and it is summer, we obviously can't turn on our fireplace. So I've decorated it with some candles for some ambiance and put out last year's Christmas photos from the grounds of Alexandria. They were so adorable. Coco was dressed like an elf. It was so cute. And added some more little nutcrackers for the ambiance. This side we're doing in a little bit of a gold theme. And now Christmas stockings. These stockings are so cute. And this year I had the idea, I get these little hooks made from these girls uh, on Etsy. And they make these little hooks that you can hang your Disney bags or your Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse ears. And there's heaps and heaps of different choices. And I thought this year, why don't I get some Christmas ones made from them and shipped over and use them to hang our Christmas stockings. So I had a cute little Santa for Michael, a cute little snowman for Coco and a little reindeer for myself. And they were perfect to hang above the fireplace. Super adorable. Hubby actually taught me a really cute trick. I was like, how am I gonna get these even and all put up matching in the same line? So I used the little coaster to put under each one and then measured it up and they worked out perfectly. But these are so cute. I'll link down below the Etsy um, account of the girls that make these little hooks. They're from Sweet Penny's Creations on Etsy. Be sure to go check them out. I'll link them below. You can add them to your decor and order some really cute ones for yourself or maybe as a gift for the holidays for someone special. They do stuff even uh, not just Disney, but all sorts of different kind of hooks and designs. You guys, look at Coco just staying by my side the whole time, giving me her feedback and really enjoying decorating the house. She is so stinking cute. Without freezing, yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. All right, you guys, so another little cheap and cheerful trick or hack for decorating your home is changing out your photos around the house with some Christmas photos from previous years that you really like. So I always keep the photos behind and I move the new ones forward and then I switch them out through the year. So once Christmas is over, I will swap them back out for new ones of maybe Valentine's Day or Easter. Um, but I've printed up some new ones this year, uh, photos that I've received from last Christmas that I love and thought I would decorate the house and some new frames with these. And it does give it a little extra touch for the holidays. 
but be sure when you take the photos out to clean the frame on the inside and out so there's no fingerprints or the photos don't get uh, stuck to the glass and then you have to peel them off. So just give them a little clean with some Windex and paper towel before you put the new photo in and make sure they're completely dry. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you all right, you guys, so my last hack for you in this video is getting some stuffing paper or tissue paper or bubble wrap paper, and you can fill the bottoms of your mugs and jars and cuppies to fill them on the top with candy so that you're not having to buy heaps of extra candies and lollies for decoration. Uh, as you can see, I just stuffed some bubble wrap down at the bottom and then placed the candies and treats up top and it looks really, really nice on the tear tray and it's just a nice way to display um, some treats for when you have guests over, it makes it easier to refill and makes a great addition to any part of your home. Now this is my first time doing a Christmas tear tray and I'm really happy with how it came out. However, the white fluffy stuffing I think I'm going to replace. I did find some real looking snow at Christmas World and I think I'm gonna take it all apart again and add all the real snow um, to both tear trays, the one on the coffee table and this one and just give it more an authentic look. So I will post up some photos on my Instagram stories at She's All Ears for you to check out and see how that came out. So if this is your first time watching our channel, thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss any of the adventures that Coco and I get up to. And believe me, there are heaps planned for the next few months. Everything from a trip to Walt Disney World to we're going to the Beauty and the Beast exhibition in the grounds of Alexandria, which would be beautiful. We're also getting our family Santa photos done there as well. And we're also gonna take a trip to the largest Christmas decoration display in the Southern Hemisphere out in the Hunter Valley. So really excited about that. If there's just some videos that you'd like to watch, be sure to give this video a like and ring that notification bell so you never miss what Coco and I are up to. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, you guys, mom's not around. I'm gonna decorate the house the way I want it. So <laughs> hopefully she enjoys. What do you think? What should I start with? Should I redecorate the Christmas tree? <laughs> so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way.